I got three backlogs or four. I mean, I think three tha. Out of which, in only one, I actually failed. God. Rest of the two, I chose not to give. The relationship that I had at that time, I remember I was having a major fight with him, and I used to be such an anxious kid at that time that I actually chose to not give that exam. Wow. And go travel, meet him, and fix things. Huh. And guess what happened? That didn't work out. <laughs> I failed. It was a shock, Ranveer. I can't tell you. Like my heart was in my mouth. And I think I turned my heartbreak into my ambition. जो मुझे लगा जो इतना passion मैं अपने relationship में लगाती हूँ, might as well just you know like uh, use that passion into something that I uh, can also call my profession. Yeah. मुझे नहीं पता था कि मुझे हमेशा से करना, but I always knew that I have to do something that I love. And I have to make it big. That's it. This is what I knew. What's good, you guys? It's another episode of the Ranveer Show, and in today's episode, we've got one of the people I really look up to from the entire YouTube industry. She's someone who's worked at multiple YouTube organizations. Today, she's running one of India's biggest fashion blogs. It's Komal Pandey, the queen of YouTube fashion <laughs> in India. Thank you. Um, okay, so that's Komal's professional introduction. On a personal level, she's someone who's seen a lot of heartbreak. She's seen rejection in life. She's seen sad, dark times, and every time she's come out of this, I know that because I'm a friend of hers. And in today's interview, I just want to bring out the real Komal Pandey to you guys. So, Komal, firstly, thank you for being on Beer Vice. Thank you for having me. Thank and you. secondly, my first question. Yeah. There's a lot of kids watching this who are kind of going through their own negative times right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. What did you do to get out of that? Because today you're like super successful. You're far away from that phase. Yeah. But if you would go back to that phase, what was that like? Um. Yeah, so I think my first heartbreak it happened when I was uh, I think 20 or 21. It was a four-year long relationship. Uh, I was devastated. I was shattered. Two things are happening. You either get out of it beautifully or you let it shatter you. And I think I turned my heartbreak into my ambition. जो मुझे लगा जो इतना passion मैं अपने relationship में लगाती हूँ, might as well just you know like uh, use that passion into something that I uh can also call my profession yeah. one day i woke up ranveer and i decided that this is not how i, how I want to feel anymore God. this is not how i want to feel anymore mm. i need to do something for myself now then i asked myself what will make me happy mm. and the answer was fashion mm -hmm. the answer was fashion and um you i screw everything else and i, I just screw everything else it's fine i'm going through a heartbreak i'm feeling terrible right now uh going for a coaching to pursue chartered accountancy will not make me feel better mm. So that's when I told my parents that you know what I'm going through right now. Mm. It's been years that I did not give myself much importance. Now finally is the time that I really want to do something, and um, I did. God. Yeah. And you know, a lot of people kind of are afraid of taking up unconventional paths because they're like, oh, how will I be able to do it? Yeah. Do you want to answer that question? How did you find the motivation? <laughs> so I didn't believe in myself. Mm. The moment I started believing in myself, it happened. So when I didn't believe in myself, वो नहीं आया मेरे पास राइट दिस वन डे आई वोक अप एंड आई न्यू कि ये मैं कर सकती हूँ सो आई अट्रैक्टेड इट सो इफ यू वॉन्ट समथिंग इन योर लाइफ द यूनिवर्स विल हेल्प यू एंड ये मैं हर चीज में बिलीव करती हूँ रिलेशनशिप्स वर्क फैमिली फ्रेंडशिप एवरी थिंग द लॉ ऑफ अट्रैक्शन इट्स द बिगेस्ट ट्रूथ सो यू नो आई सी लॉट ऑफ ब्लॉगर्स both men and women yeah. who kind of just take up fashion blogging but they're little bit easy going with it mm -hmm. and then i see you on the other end who's going ham with like yeah. putting out content putting out videos putting out posts and you make really high quality stuff so what has kept you motivated <laughs> till this point because if you want you can sit to, sit and chill right now hmm. it, you don't have to make videos yeah but why why are you doing this passion like you said i like waking up in the morning with a motive hmm. i don't like waking up in the morning feeling like hmm क्या करूँ आज मैं यू नो घर है पैसा है सब है मैं क्या करूँ आई कैन हैव दैट फीलिंग हाँ लाइक आई हैव अ हाउस आई हैव मनी चलो आज काम नहीं करते हैं बट नहीं यार आई वॉन्ट टू वर्क मैं क्या करूँ बैठी रहूँ आई सो आई लाइक टू हैव अ पर्पस इन लाइफ एंड मीन्स लाइक दैट वन आई हैव अ पर्पस इन लाइफ आई लाइक टू डू इट वेल विच इज़ बाई दी good quality videos and content so you've also moved out of your house house yeah like you moved away from your parents you're living yeah. alone right yeah, now yeah yeah 
do you think that's changed anything for you because a lot of people are age are at that juncture <coughs> where they're thinking that you know wait let me consider living alone yeah has living alone added some value to your life a lot of a lot of value i believe that living alone is the most important part of adulting this is what i believe um, why do you say that what do you learn from like living alone you pay your own bills you become more independent tumhe dal chini ka bhav samajh mein aata hai yaar right i was living under my parents expenses i had no rent i had no bills to pay whatever i was earning i was spending on myself hmm. now whatever i'm earning more than half of the money i'm spending on the house on my production it's it's more psychological and it makes me feel really good about myself you know there are so many days i feel hey low i feel like my life sucks mm-hmm. but then i remind myself wait a minute look around this beautiful house yeah. you have built you've made this from scratch no one else you're not that bad yeah, yeah. so so uh, you know i feel like one trait of successful people is that they constantly get out of their comfort zone yeah so obviously you've gotten out of your original house yes. put yourself in this place yes. Yes. and then that's made you stronger yes but going forward 5 10 years from now what do you want to improve about yourself that you think will help you reach that next stage in your career or your life um self love okay. self you think that's what's missing right now uh yes okay i don't completely love myself right now I don't I think there's a lot of work to be done and I'm I'm struggling I'm trying hard and I'd like to give myself a pat on the back for that um I like to give myself credit for everything that I do but I also like to remind myself um about things that I don't what I'm trying to achieve is to love myself every day no matter how I feel no matter how I do in my relationship no matter how uh, I do um, at work I want to reach a stage where I'm so self like I'm so fulfilled with myself that I don't um that if there's anything wrong happening in my other aspects of life it doesn't affect me as a whole person mm. you know I don't I don't stop loving myself for it someone said that you know part of being a youtuber is a certain sense of insecurity it comes with that why because we live in a world where everything is like controlled by numbers so you are getting to see your position kind of in the ecosystem all the time and the whole world is getting to see their position mm-hmm. now if you want you have a choice to not be insecure at all and be completely chilled out and happy with what mm-hmm. you are doing mm-hmm. and if you want you can totally obsess with numbers obsess with what's happening around you obsess mm-hmm. with your competition mm-hmm. do you feel you face that at any point no never i've never been obsessed with numbers and i'm grateful for that I've had other bigger struggles in life because मुझे लगता है कि life में और बड़ी problems हैं यार। Like internal struggle is yeah, that important. that's much. I'm sorry, like I want to pay, I want to focus more on my inner peace of mind uh, than on those numbers. I get it, it's my work, and I do keep a tab on my analytics and my data and everything, but I don't obsess over it. Nothing in your life should be your life. It should be a part of your life, hmm. your work, your relationship, everything. it should never be your life it should be a part and i like to keep it my part that's it so is yeah. your relationship and your occupation at the same level in your life no what's I what's more thing my relationship it's really more than your career yeah and you're lagta so nahi hai na yeah yeah lagta nahi hai you're the first youtuber who's ever said that yeah yeah nahi no, my relationship and um, I, even i i'd say they're both equal for me i yeah. don't know man relationship is two steps higher i guess uh main equal karna chahti hu kudos to you if it's <laughs> equal amazing i need some tips no, no, no. but um ha yeah and do you think your relationship has helped you in your career journey as well oh yes yes um i don't think if it wasn't for ravit i would be here i didn't even know i had i had it in me to become a youtuber mm. after so much thinking and struggle um i got into fashion blogging so he really he like he helped me believe in myself So I'm thankful for him for that. Yeah. I think if you're lucky enough to find a good relationship for yourself, it can be a huge support system in your life. For sure. Especially yeah. you know what the audience doesn't see is that YouTubers do come under pressure yeah. and it's a crazy world. It's very volatile. It's like one video is up and then the moment it's up you're thinking of the next video. That's true. Yeah. Yes. And then when you have a relationship to like fall back on, when you have a relationship to escape it's to. It's wonderful. Yeah. It's and I think Ranveer it's It's not just YouTube, isn't it? Everywhere in any kind of profession, yeah, yeah, sure. you want to go back home to like. Sure. 
you know to this one person to whom you don't want to talk about work you want exactly. to just switch off from work exactly. you know so for those people who are at the brink of taking a risk like the risk is in front of them they're not sure whether to take it or not yeah. what advice do you have for those kind of people <coughs> um think it through main hamesha bolti hu there are a lot of people jo bolte hai ki just do it Hmm. No, Ninzuma, just do it. No, please. I don't give that bullshit advice. I you calculate. Like, yeah, please be calculative. So please calculate, think it through, uh, measure your odds, and then take the final call. Uh, not being cynical, a pessimist, or whatever. Just being logical, practical. But also, don't keep thinking because a lot of people in those. That's thoughts. true. Ha ha ha. Don't keep thinking. Ultimately, if you know, if you're having um, a debate with yourself. एंड अगर बार बार कंक्लूजन यही आ रहा है कि नहीं यार मुझे करना है तो फिर करो इफ समन टेक्स अवे एवरी थिंग यू वर्न टूडे ऑल योर मनी योर हाउस एंड पुट्स यू ऑन द रोड डू यू थिंक यू बी एबल टू वर्क योर वे बैकअप येस एंड वॉट मेक्स यू से दैट माई पैशन ये पता है मैं बहुत बार सोच चुकी हूँ रणवीर पता है मुझे इससे कभी डर ही नहीं लगा है और मैं सोच चुकी हूँ इस बारे में कि अगर कभी ऐसा हुआ तो क्या होगा एंड इट इज़ नेवर इट इज नेवर मेड मी एंडशियस नर्वस आई फील लाइक तो क्या हुआ फिर मैं फिर से आ जाऊंगी वापस लाइक आई टेल माई सेल्फ वेरी इजली आई नो इट्स ईजियर सेट दैन डन बिकॉज आई नेवर रियली बिन पुट इन टू दैट स्पॉट बट आई बी एबल टू वर्क माई वे आप कोमल पांडे दैट्स योर बिगेस्ट स्ट्रेंथ इन लाइफ दैट यू आर एबल टू बाउंस बैक फ्रॉम थिंग सो अगेन वन लास्ट पीस ऑफ एडवाइस टू पीपल हु फेस हार्ट ब्रेक फेलियर डिप्रेशन रिजेक्शन दिस वन बिट ऑफ एडवाइस लव योर सेल्फ दिस वॉन्ट लास्ट सब खत्म हो जाएगा uh you'll be happy again i promise please believe me it's not the end it's not the apocalypse so there are bigger problems in life um and i'm in no way trying to belittle your problem i know you're going through your own little struggle but uh look around the world is beautiful um you'll again find a good enough reason to smile and bounce back every morning Okay. Anyway, <laughs> thank you, Komal Pandey. That was one of the most beautiful, enriching interviews, really. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. me, and I hope I didn't disappoint you. No, not at all. Not and at all. may I just I... say that I'm a big, big, big fan. Thank you so much. And um, that you're amazing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, guys, I'm going to be linking Komal's handles down below. Her YouTube channel is also linked down below. Go subscribe. And until next time, guys, from Ranveer and Komal, we'll see you later. <laughs>